Hey guys, so if you get this screen right here, um, reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media in selected boot device and press a key and your keyboard, not responsive. I had to get uh, this one because that one was unresponsive completely. And I was hoping maybe an older keyboard would be more responsive. Um, as you can see, I can get a light, it's plugged in. Um, then I have a solution for you. Um, so basically what you have to do is you have to unplug the battery from your motherboard which you can't see it from the outside but it is uh, behind the graphics card and yeah I'll show you all what to do from there okay um, one more thing I forgot to mention is you need to turn off your computer completely and you need to I get a light you need to press the power button on your um, power spy unit and unplug it from the wall you can also unplug it from any other um, peripherals and yeah alright guys as you can see I've taken off the front cover of my case and we're now inside the computer with it of course powered off so don't be scared if you've never taken part of a computer before it's not hard so what you want to do is you want to unplug the uh, power from the graphics card and um, you actually turn on your side so I'll be right back I guess so after you turn it on its side it's just easier to work with you need to unhook you can see it there it is it's really small um have an air to it right now basically gonna press that in my finger is actually too big so i need to go get something else to press it with so i'll be right back got a screwdriver um also while you're doing this make sure not to touch your motherboard um, or any other components with the screwdriver because that could end very badly. Press it down. There we go. And now we want to unscrew um, this screw right here. I'm doing this one hand. Alright. So if you've unscrewed the screw, to that to the side. Your motherboard should now be able to take it out of and we'll just set it right here. Alright. Aha. Alright. This is the guy we were looking for. Um, this is the battery on most um, um, motherboards and if yours does not look like this, if it's um, maybe wired to something, then that's easy. All you need to do is unplug it but for this one, you need a, it's a spring. Alright guys, once you have removed the battery, you want to set that somewhere. And you want to wait approximately 5 minutes. So let me get my phone out. You want to wait 5 minutes. So just set a timer. I'll even, I'll even do 6 just to be safe. So, so uh, set a timer for 6 minutes and I'll see y'all then. Um, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So now we can just put the battery back in and reassemble everything we just did. All right, guys, I'm back. So what I just did is I just uh, placed it the uh, graphics card where it was. Make sure you line it up down there. Don't know if y'all can see that or not. And you simply just push in. Take that click. Once you that click, you can look down and see the pin is pushed up. So now all you need to do is get your screw, screw it back in. And uh, screwing it in. Now you simply just plug in the power cables and yeah, everything plugged in. Once you have everything plugged in like you originally had, you simply just put on the case covering and I'll cut to that. All right. As you can see, I put on the front case again, screwed everything in, and now we all we need to do is boot it up. Hey guys, everything's screwed back. I just have my monitor and my keyboard um, plugged in right now, and flip the switch, turn it on. Moment of truth. Did it work? It worked. So now you should be able to use your keyboard, which is what we wanted, right? So before we couldn't be able to use our keyboard, now we can. Now simply turn off the computer. 
Okay, let it shut off completely. Maybe even flick this. All right, now turn it back on. Now, as soon as you turn it back on, you want to hook up a keyboard and press delete. Uh, for me, it's delete. Um, it could be different for you. Try F12, um, F8, or delete. One of those should work, and that should get you into your BIOS. So, let's try it. I can like this, y'all can see it. And turn it on. Spam and delete. From here, you should be able to fix what you did, um, whether it was you were adjusting your RAM improperly or you were maybe messing with the boot. Now you can go back to your BIOS and fix all that. So, have a good one, guys. Take care. Um, hey, guys. So, I'm just showing y'all what I did to mess it up. So, I reset my Windows. I copied my Windows to an, a new uh, M.2 SSD. Plugged that in. And instead of this being first, I was dumb and set it last. So, um, double click. Move that sucker all the way up there. Actually, probably needs to be. There we go. So now it should uh, boot from this instead of the actual SSD. It should boot from the Windows Boot Manager. Um, everything else looks good. Um, and what I also did um, is I was messing with the um, high frequency support. I did level 3 instead of auto because um, I don't know why. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's good. BIOS. Just double check everything. That's good. Save and exit. Uh, save and exit setup. Wait, let me also hold on. Do that. All right, back. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hey. So yeah, if y'all have any questions, make sure to comment below and I'll try to answer every single one. Um, but yeah, hope y'all have a great day and yeah, have a good one guys. Peace out.